During fill, plastic flow is the primary variable of the process. As such, it is the most important variable to understand and control. Actual flow rate is determined by measuring the time to fill the cavities. Note that the first stage or other fill time settings that you set on the machine are not necessarily the same as the actual amount of time it takes for the plastic to fill the cavity. The process may not be capable of achieving consistently accurate fill times. During fill, injection speed must be controlled independent of viscosity. We use actual cavity fill time as the best measure of the plastic flow rate. This is best determined by a transducer near the gate end of the part. For a typical amorphous plastic like polystyrene, the pressure chart would look like this. Pressure buildup in the cavity begins when the plastic flows over the transducer. It continues to build until a dog leg is apparent and the pressure builds more rapidly. This point here is the moment the cavity is full but not yet packed. The time of cavity fill is then determined by the length of the dog leg along the x-axis, in this case about 2.5 seconds. If the mold were run in a different machine, you would seek to replicate this cavity pressure data. If the diameter of the screw is different, the screw velocity must be different to achieve the same volumetric flow rate and mold fill time. 